Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to model a hide in 3D software such as Fusion 360 and then send it to your 3D printer to print. Start by opening up your favorite 3D modeling software. My favorite software is Fusion 360. When you open up the program, you need to create a new sketch. This particular hide is 140 millimeters wide by 100 millimeters deep by 55 millimeters tall. So once you've created the outline of your hide, you're going to need to extrude it like you saw there by three millimeters to create a bottom lip that's nice and strong. Then you're going to create a new sketch on top of that face and make the interior walls and extrude it upwards by the desired height. Now you have the basic outline of your hide. However, we're going to take it a step further because the animal needs a door to get into this hide. So select that bottom lip there and create a new sketch and start drawing out the outline of your door. For this door in particular, it's 25 millimeters high by 40 millimeters wide. Now we need to make a curved top so that it's not so rough or short. So what I like to do is draw a circle that has a 40 millimeter in diameter and then trim off the excess lines. Now that you have your outline, it's time to extrude it inwards towards the body. Now that we've added the door, we're going to need to draft all of the faces of the hide. We do this in particular to increase the strength of the part. Now that we've completed drafting all of the faces, what we need to do now is shell it out so that it actually is a hide that can be entered. Now we're going to create a sketch on the front door to cut out the opening to this hide. I like to leave a 3.5 millimeter gap um, just to add a little bit of strength to that opening as well. Now that we have the outline drawn out, we need to extrude cut it inwards to make the opening. The last step in this design is to chamfer all of the edges. This adds strength and it makes it a little bit easier to print because there are no sharp edges.
And there you have it. The 3D model is ready for printing. All you need to do now is save the model and export it as an STL. This will then be opened up in your slicing software so that you can 3D print it. My slicing program of choice is Simplify 3D. So um, now I'm going to open up that STL that we just created, which I called Small Hide Version 1. It's going to open it up onto the build plate. I have a rather large printer that has a 12 inch by 12 inch bed or 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters. Um, to make this particular hide work, I'd like to print it without supports, however, because of those overhangs, they need them on that outside edge. So I flip it 180 degrees and just use some supports on those outside edges. I'm only using a 20% infill and particularly PLA, ABS, all of these are no good for animals. The only thing that would be acceptable is PEPG. This is the only FDA certified plastic. So this is the only safe plastic you can use for these types of hides. Now that you've created your process, it's time to send it to the printer. And there you have it, a 3D printed reptile hide. I'm going to be providing the 3D models for this particular product free of charge on Thingiverse.com. You can find the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop a like down below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.